hello and welcome back to my channel today in this video we will discuss about i am wife i have finished that by emily dickinson okay let's start the poem i am wife i have finished that by emily dickinson will be stylistically analyzed using feminist stylistics and speech and thought representation analysis feminist Stylistics involves analyzing literature and observing why authors choose certain ways to express themselves and how certain effects can be achieved through language. Means an understanding is needed to recognize that literature is often bias mirroring a social perspective whilst feminist stylistics focus on a feminist feminist perspective speech speech and thought representation also readers to understand characters thoughts and feelings through the their use of speech which can alter readers understanding the poem i am wife i have finished that is written from a female perspective female perspective about a women's freedom about a women's freedom before and after marriage the female voice in the poem is present however the identity of the woman is made ultimately un uh, made ultimately invisible this is because 19th century female writers had to make themselves hard make themselves hard whilst denying her presence as a female object Many critics share the view that Dickinson lived in a patriarchal society. Majority of her poems include women living, women living in an oppressive society and the poem is unsurprisingly feminist. Many of Dickinson's poems have been analyzed in order to understand how the poet reacted to the limitation put on women. in the 19th century society dickinson lived a quiet private life dickinson lived a quiet a private life it was in her writings that she revealed a strong feminine supremacy through her inspiring and creative work she rarely left her uh, house and started she rarely left her uh, house and started to live and started to live in almost complete isolation yet her poems demand readerly participation the poetic voices in dickinson's poem are often seeking to want more from life but they also contain the idea of hope where opportunities for contentment and happiness are possible In the poem I am wife I have finished that Dickinson wanted to show the difference wanted to show the difference in becoming a woman and a wife the poetic voice is a young girl the poetic voice is a young girl who has conflicting who has conflicting feelings about turning into a woman particularly a wife while constantly reassuring herself that is safer and comfortable to be so her contradictory feelings arise when she realizes that leaving girlhood becoming a woman and then a wife will prevent her from having a self identity because once she is a wife she is almost labeled as a possession of her husband
Emily Dickinson portrays an extremely complicated approach regarding marriage in the poem although Dickinson was not married although Dickinson was not married she clearly demonstrated her perception on both situation of being single and being married in the opening verse the poetic voice is clearly anxious and concerned the poetic voice is clearly anxious and concerned that she will have to close the chapters of her life as a girl now that she is married the level wife given to women is contrasted with caesar which is commonly associated with men as a wife can never become caesar but a husband can a woman is capable of becoming caesar on her own however on the wife wife becomes a wife it stops there with only the husband to appreciate her it is clear that there are pressures on becoming a wife and the poetic voice is nervous that her life will become dominated by her husband after marriage The closing line of the poem show the frustration, unfairness and discrimination between men and women in Dickinson society. The think the poetic voice is reluctantly accept accepting the idea that a woman should stop at becoming a wife and to be nothing more because a wife has to Dickinson did not get married it is telling then that her view on girls growing up would be to then move on to the stage of marriage Dickinson is experiencing change because she has never because she has never been married before therefore fantasizing fantasizing about marriage allows her to explore her imagination and experience male dominance which in really which in really reality she does not want i think the poet believed that it is safer to be leveled and to be given an identity and she reflects this in the poem because it makes her feel protected compared to the identity she has in reality dickinson produces a complexity a complicated representation of marriage complicated representation of marriage in the first verse i am wife i have finished that i am woman now it's safer so the poetic the poetic voice is trying to re reassure herself that now that she is married she has left her girlhood behind and has become a complete woman I think the point Dickinson is trying to express is that every girl only truly becomes a full woman after she has married. In line three, I am Caesar illustrates a positive idea regarding marriage. <coughs> However, the past line of verse one, it's safer so, it's safer so, is contradictory. In the nineteenth century, it was the norm for girls to grow up. get married and to have children therefore in the last line dickinson ridicules the cultural norms of society for imposing this stereotypical views on girls pressurizing pressurizing them to get married in the second line of stanza 2 the marriage is called the marriage is called a soft eclipse which is the phase is woman is going through while reflecting on herself as a girl who has a skeptical feeling on marriage the inequality of men and women is present when the woman goes through the stages of being a girl and into womanhood dickinson's feminist thoughts feminist thoughts are reflected in the poem showing that the persona secretly thinks it is more acceptable to be woman instead of wife 
However, it could be argued that she is reflecting on the natural stages a girl goes through in life and she sees marriage as a protection from pain. I think that Dickinson is implying that a woman is more secure in marriage, having a place in society, a partner to care for you and household full of responsibilities to fulfill the expectation of a wife. The poet compares being single being single and married to that of heaven and earth. The earth is used to suggest that single life is hard whereas married life is compared to that in heaven. Emily Dickinson Emily Dickinson is insecure with the idea of becoming a full woman. She talks about marriage and uses quotation, uses quotation marks around wife and women because this word seems strange when associated with her because she does not want to get married. However, she visualizes getting married and appears to be mocking the concept to becoming a wife has while well, becoming a wife was the only responsibility a girl had when she reached womanhood and there is a clearly there is clearly a feeling of regret dickinson has no social identity because she was single and women did not want to have this title as it was undesirable in society the last stanza emphasizes on dickinson's feelings about marriage the point she is making is that married life will bring comfort to a girl Though ma through marriage, the final verse starts with this. Being comfort, then that other kind was pain. This creates. Was pain. This creates contrasting idea, suggesting that marriage can bring. Happiness, however, it can also bring problems, sadness, and pain. The pain represents the reality of marriage within a po within the poem. A husband and wife are combined by marriage and may be happy. However, if they do not if they do not unite, problems will arise that threatens the marriage and the home. When this happens, it is very often. It is very often that one person is in the relationship will overpower the other and it is usually the husband who dominates and suppresses the wife. Dickinson constantly compares herself as a wife to a woman and a girl from the start to the end of the poem asking why compare because she is confused by the expectations required of a girl to get married However, she is trying to come to a conclusion. The last line, I am wife, stop there, sounds like, like a command from a man, shouting and ordering the woman to stop questioning herself. The poet is trying to reflect that pain is caused when being alone. A married woman, a married woman is a woman in her own right, although she will be expected to stop at being a wife because only certain traits will be required of them. Dickinson finishes the poem in an optimistic manner, stating that marriage should not be compared because she is a wife and her thoughts should stop there. Again, she is choosing to identify herself as a wife, although in reality she was not, she was not, which implies that being a wife as was a respectable status was a respectable status and Dickinson is clearly mocking society by going against it. A distinct emphasis has been placed on the way Dickinson portrays speech and thoughts on the poetic voice in the poem, direct thought is the dominant manner that she uses to display the person's expressions because it makes the poem more dramatic. 
the reader gains an insight into the conscience of the poetic voice and the author's mind this allows readers to absorb the different thoughts and feelings that the author is experiencing and try to convey the speech and thought of the poetic voice appears to be very confused talking about marriage with contrasting thoughts which shows that the poet is complete in some way and her thoughts are very disarrayed Dickinson clearly wanted to reflect the complicated issues regarding views on women on and marriage the first and the lines 1 to 3 shows shows that Emily is in favor of marriage however the last line contradicts her opinion and she is implying that being married is the safer option ridiculing society as they impose these views on girls that they should get married she wants to highlight that marriage is respectable in society and provides girls with a secure life however it can also cause pain and problems specific especially for women who enjoy their independence which reflect the feminist views that women will be restricted after marriage because they will be dominated by males their husbands the poem compares the confusing thoughts of a female who is pressurized who is pressurized to get married and to follow the norms of society i think the poem has an extremely feminist approach and is intended to mock society for wanting girls to grow up to grow up marry and live a typical life this poem contrasts ideas to show that women are independently better on their own however marriage is the safer option because it is what society expects of them the 19th century in america is in a typical patriarchal society women women were judged as dependent to the men and their main task were taking care of their husband and children in this paper i will looking at emily dickinson's opinion about feminism through the poem i am wife i have finished that in a biographical perspective this paper is divided by three parts the first part provides an overview of reasons for dickinson to write such a poem the second part discusses the poem i am wife i have finished that in a biographical view mainly to dig out why did dickinson write such a poem the third part examines attitude of dickinson about feminism through the poem i am wife i have finished that biographical criticism emily dickinson feminism biographical criticism derived from the literature criticism is a way to analyze writer writer's work combined with her lifetime this long standing critical method dates back at least to the renaissance period and was employed extensively by samuel johnson in his lives of the poets the biographical criticism emphasizes the work as a projection of writers experiences personalities and social environments believing that using this strategy and to make analysis readers can better understand and was employed extensively by samuel johnson in his lives of the poets the biographical criticism emphasizes the work is the projection of writer writer's experiences personalities and social environments believing that using this strategy to make analysis readers can better understand by the author creatives those characters and what the author want to show through those characters and events historical background Emily Dickinson was born on December 10th 1830 in a family famous for educational and political activities in America society in 19th century is a typical patriarchal century that female was judged as being inferior to men in most of all aspects their main task is to take care of their husbands and children the domination of the family shows the popular concept that women were dominated by men 
Dickinson did not publish all her works during her lifetime, so it is unclear about when did Dickinson write the poem, I am wife, I have finished that. But still, we can see the feminism views through it combined with her lifetime. Firstly, she did not marry to anyone in her whole life. One of the strongest and most affectionate relationship was with her sister-in-law, Susan Gilbert. They have over 300 letters and Susan was described as the most beloved friend, influence, muse and advisor that influences a lot for her writing. In that social background, marriage is necessity for every woman, but for Dickinson, she did not get married in her whole life. In this point, it is possible that she refused to accept the opinion of the domination of the man in a family and be a wife, which was tagged. That summer, she had seen a great darkness coming and fainted while waking in the kitchen though it is just some surmise due to the unclear date of this poem thirdly the education in school also bring her some advanced knowledge which may germinate feminism consciousness on september 7 1840 Dickinson and her sister Lavinia started together at Amherst Academy, a former boys' school that had opened to female students just two years earlier. Both of her sister and her dad not marry in their whole life, though it is hardly to say if the reason for not getting married is because of the resistance of the traditional family structure at that time. It can be speculated that why they learn in the academy make them aware of the unfair role of women in the society. From discussions above, though Emily Dickinson's lifetime is hard to apprise, she had an unusual life which is not unsocial and unpa unpassionate. In the poem of I am wife, I have finished that a stereotype of wife did not appear while a special wife image with the feminism consciousness was showed as an objection to the traditional role of women as a wife at that time. The analysis of I am wife, I have finished that the poem wrote the transmission of role and the mood from a woman to a wife. Not only did Emily Dickinson not get married, but also seldom contact with others in older age. In the book, My Words Are Laid Away in Books, The Life of Emily, Hebegger points out Dickinson started to avoid going out unless it was absolutely necessary as early as 1867, and she began to talk to visitors from the other side of a door rather than speaking to them face to face. As a result, the poem might not be a reflection of her experience, but an imagination of the image of wife. The poem mainly claims about the identity of a woman in a marriage. In the first stanza, she tried to reflect the complication of the issue regarding of women and marriage. The speaker in the poem was transferring from a woman to a wife. I am wife. I have finished that. That other state. I am Caesar. I am woman now. It's safer so. Safer is an irony here. It indicates the identity of the, fe of the female at the time which was dominated by men in their life. That Dickinson was objected, she herself is not safe for lacking the identification. As a wife, safe can mean the protection of women. Most women at that time did not have stable income, a place to live and some civil rights such as the, the vote right. Getting married with a man could make women feel safe. The emphasis quote for the women ingeniously indicates the different identification for the women. As I mentioned before, America was a paternity in 19th century. The orthodox stereotype for women were doing course and all their work were taking care of their husband and families. For Dickinson, she indicated that the unique idea to show women to show women 
For Dickinson, she indicated the unique idea to show women not equally with wife. Being a wife is not the only way to be an integrated woman, and the only way to fill. That shows her feminism view is being judged freely. In the last stanza of the poem, I am wife, I have finished that. Dickinson uses comfort, pain, and compared to indicates the imprisonment of thoughts, this being comfort. Then, that other kind was pain, but why compare? But women really need to do is changing their minds rather than feel safer to be subordinate. Adwina Reith described it in this way in Vesuvius at Home, the power of Emily Dickinson, that Dickinson's identity as a woman poet conveyed power to her. She chose her seclusion knowing she was exceptional and knowing what she needed. She carefully selected her society and controlled the disposal of her time. Neither eccentric nor quaint, she was determined to survive to use her powers to practice necessary economics. Like Dickinson, restless with complex notions of God, giving no consistent view of religion, so does she wrestle with gender, giving no consistent feminist views. Her work is paradoxical. Her style is terrace looks like the words of a male rather than chatty sentimental woman's style. With all the dashes and ellipses and telegraphic lines, her poetry seems a far cry from anything from this planet. All in all, he gray, her great theme and her poetry was that of mystery. From Emily Dickinson's life, we can better understand the poem, I am wife, I have finished that. She gave up her social life to persuade liberty and deep spirit. In her love, she bravely sought love until die, but gave up marriage, imprisoned with other women. She opposed to the domination by men through her works, rather than supporting any feminism protest in the poem. I am wife, I have finished that, she used irony to satire people deep-rooted the ideology in patriarchal society. On the one hand, this poem conveys a history stereotype for women at that period. On the other hand, on the other hand, it